This is our persistence of vision globe. This is a ring that is uh, about to spin. And here we have a reed switch, which detects magnetic fields, and a magnet on it. So every time it spins, we can detect a spin by, see by having it uh, complete the switch, close the switch, and uh, we can detect it on our Arduino. So what we have here is we have a variable, volt a variable voltage power supply so we can control the motor. Ultimately, we will use a 12-volt power supply and a PWM signal to, to get it to spin at about 10 to 15 times per second. We need the ring to spin at 10 to 15 times per second so that as the LEDs flash by, your eyes maintain an after image and to, uh, for long enough that it actually gives the impression that the LEDs are standing still. We also wrote a little app that tells us how fast it's spinning simply by looking at the read switch. So of course right now it's spinning at zero revolutions per second. And here, Irina can hold it and we'll go ahead and get started. So, we'll turn it up to about a volt, 1.1 volts. Let's draw on maybe like 0.9 watts, just looking at the voltage and amperage, and it's spinning at about two to three times per second. And we're, we're um, counting how many times it spins in two seconds and then just averaging that to get a better estimate. But let's go ahead and step it up. So this is two volts. At two volts, drawing about 1.9 watts, it spins about seven to eight times per second. And again, we need to spend 10 to 15. So we will increase the voltage. And we'll go up to 3 volts. At 3 volts, it is spinning at 12 to 13 times per second. And it's drawing about 3 watts. So this is exactly the range we want. And you can see the globe spins nicely. It's well supported by the 2x4s and the aluminum bars. We can also pass a voltage to the ring, which is where we're ultimately going to...